Coverage continues on the new information we're learning from the night. Two Bristol police officers were killed in an ambush. It happened back in October of 2022. And just this afternoon, more than a year after their deaths, the Office of the Inspector General released a report. The Inspector General report is more than 60 pages long. There are pictures and video that we've never seen before. And a key point, Officer Alec Iorato was justified in his use of force in taking down the suspect. We have team coverage to get to for you, beginning with Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Dylan Fearon. He is joining us from outside the Bristol Police Department. Well, Mark, October 12th will always have an impact on this city and this police department. It was one of Connecticut's darkest days, and we want to be sensitive tonight, but we also want to let everyone know exactly what happened to Alex Hamsey and Dustin DeMonte, along with new information on the third officer, Alex Iorato, and the killer, Nick Brutcher. The first key point is Officer Alec Iorato shooting killer Nick Brutcher has been ruled justified by the Inspector General. That's not surprising, but it's now been made official. Whenever an officer fires their weapon, it's thoroughly investigated. We're also learning what led up to the ambush with plenty of video that Nick and his brother Nathan were at Bleacher's Bar earlier that night. Nick and another patron were arguing with Brutcher elbowing him in the face, punching him in the head. They went outside where this continued. Police were called. The patron didn't want to press charges and said Nick was very drunk. The Brutcher brothers were trying to leave in a pickup truck. Police stopped them. Nick ended up walking home. Later that night, Nick called police on his brother, saying Nathan was being aggressive after the bleachers incident. Officers Dustin DeMonte, Alex Hamsey, and Alec Irato responded. But Nick Brutcher was hiding in the bushes, wearing camouflage clothing, and with an AR-15, shot the three officers and his brother. He fired off 83 shots with two guns, but inserted the magazine into the AR-15 upside down. It's likely even more shots would have fired if he had it right side up. Alec Irato was able to brace himself against the cruiser and shoot Nick Brutcher in the head, killing him. And Mark, Stephanie, it was a devastating few weeks in Connecticut. It's taken more than a year and a half. This police department, this city, still trying to heal over this ambush. But the question remains, why would Nick Brutcher do this? Why would he lure police officers to his house and then kill them? The report has some new, uh, incredibly key information tonight. And for more on that, we'll head things over to Cassidy Williams. Cassidy? Well, Dylan, reading this report, we learned a lot about Nicholas Brutcher and why he may have done this. And we want to focus on what the experts, the FBI's Behavioral Analysis Unit, list as his stressors. And the BAU says these shouldn't be seen as justification or reason to blame others, but simply a way to answer the question. Why? The BAU says there were multiple stressors. On the day of the attack, a woman told Brutcher he may have gotten her pregnant. Brutcher was struggling financially as he was getting calls from collection agencies. Brutcher appeared to be struggling with his sexual identity. He also had alcohol, cocaine, and marijuana in his system. And lastly, that traffic stop earlier in the night may have caused Brutcher to feel humiliated and then want to seek revenge on the Bristol Police Department. The report also includes the audio of the 911 call Brutcher made that night that initiated this ambush at five we showed you how the call started this is the moment he tells dispatchers it's his brother who is the threat okay what's he doing right now that prompted you to call 911 uh, he's just being very like aggressive towards who i mean anybody anybody that he had come in contact with you looked into his brother Nathan Brutcher as well. The BAU says they found no evidence that Nathan was involved or planned the attack with his brother. Nathan told police he didn't remember much of that night because he had taken Xanax. Mark and Stephanie sending it back to you.